hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today i will be carrying you guys along as i prep fruits and baby food for my baby so all i need are some apples and pears i have washed them them very well and i am just going to give them a very good clean remove the back and the seed from the inside wash very well again and place in the pot for it to cook for like 15 to 25 minutes so that is all that i am doing here so i want to welcome you to my channel if today is your first time of coming across my channel you are highly welcome it's my home it's your home it's our home and if you are marathon subscribers god bless you for always coming back to support me so as you all can see i'm just washing and cleaning my two different fruits which are apples and pears so after washing cleaning here is the outcome here is the outcome i'm just going to put some water and put it on fire so after putting some water i'm just going to cover and let it cook very well until the fruits are well soft and after cooking it for about 15 to 25 minutes here is the outcome make sure you don't put too much water while you are cooking because the fruit has its own water so when 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 you start cooking you will see a lot of water coming out from the the fruit so make sure you don't put too much water so here is the outcome i'm just going to transfer it into a bowl and let it cool down for a while before blending it do not blend when it is really hot so let it cool down at least for just for just for some minutes before you start blending so our fruit is a little bit cool now i'm just going to take my blender and i will start putting some of the fruits into a blender so that i can start start blending and beside my blender i have my handy containers food containers where i will be prepping my food and fruits i have shared the link of where i bought the fruits containers and the food containers i will also be sharing the the link on the description box so after blending here is the outcome i'm just going to pour it into a bowl where i can mix very well before placing it in the containers so you can see it is just too full so i needed to put it in a, in a bigger bowl where i can mix very well because i need some lemon juice to preserve my fruit in the fridge or in the freezer so i i have some lemon juice here which freshly pressed lemon juice i'm just going to be adding some to to the fruit to the fruit puree just to preserve your fruit please if you are keeping your fruit in the fridge or in the freezer especially for babies do make sure you preserve it with freshly pressed lemon juice so after mixing everything very well together i am just going to put them all in the container my containers are not enough so i took this bigger container where i will be putting the fruit that he will be eating later today so i'm just going to step it aside while we start the preparation of his food 
So what I will be needing for his food puree are broccoli, chickpeas, sweet potato, carrot, potato, green beans and green peas. So for the meat, I need some flat fish which is called fish fillet and I also need some chickies. So these are the meats that I will be using. So for the first puree, we need a pot. If you don't have that sieve, you just put it in a pot, add water and bring it to boil. So in another pot, I will be placing my sweet potato. So I'm just going to put it in fire on fire now and start boiling. So I added some water to the green beans and the, and the, and the peas and I also added the chicken immediately. Then over here, the sweet potato with some water also and bring it to boil. And after cooking for some time, I just have to cross check and see if the potato is soft. So the chicken, the green beans and the peas are well cooked. So I'm just going to put it aside and let them cook for a while. So in that same pot, I'm going to put my broccoli and let it cook. So after putting the broccoli, you add some water if you need it. If you need some water, add it and cover. Then our sweet potato over here is soft now. So I'm just going to transfer it into a plate while I let it cool down before blending. So our chickpeas is already a cooked one. So I'm just going to pour it over the broccoli and let it cook for like two to three minutes before blending so this is the puree the first bread that the first puree that we are going to prepare be preparing it is chickpeas green peas sweet potato and chicken and why the other one is broccoli and chickpeas so over here i have my blender so i will just be putting some of the sweet potato green peas green beans and my chicken so now i'm going to blend it so after blending, here is the outcome. I will continue until I finish the whole things. Just take a look at the color. So what I have here are green beans, sweet potato, peas and chicken. So I am going to be prepping them on this container that I got from Amazon. As I said earlier, I will be sharing the link on the description box. So the reasons why I pour them on the, on the in a bigger bowl after preparing is that I just want to make sure that everything is equally mixed together. So that is why I pour it in a bowl, mix everything well before I put them into the containers. So here we are going to proceed to, for our third um, puri, which is fish potato and carrot puree so i'm just going to put it in a pot pour some water and let it cook for like 30 to 45 minutes so after a while our broccoli and chickpeas is almost ready it's it's ready not almost ready it's ready so i'm just going to put it in a blender and blend immediately So if you if you need water to blend it, you can keep the water aside and use it to blend. If your if your blender is not able to blend the the vegetables well. So after blending our chickpeas and uh, broccoli, that is the outcome. I'm also going to pour it in a bowl where I can mix everything together at the end. So we are done with the blending of our broccoli and chickpeas puree. So I'm just going to mix everything all together and also prep in the containers.
So in this sempore we have broccoli and chickpeas. So I have this sticker paper where I, I wrote the date and the food that I made. I normally use this whenever I want to prep his food. So we are done with even the cooking of our fish puree. So now I'm just going to also blend and prep this also. I hope you are enjoyed this video. If you do, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not done that and share me out with your friends and family and my God will bless you. So as you can see, I am just preparing to blend our fish puree and after blending, here is the outcome. Just take a look at the color. It is so beautiful. So I'm also going to repeat the same method in blending the remaining fish and potato carrot then we are done with our preppy so my baby it's it's almost 11 months and this is the food he has been eating i do miss it for him at times i give him the fish puree at times the chicken puree at times the broccoli and um, chickpeas puree it all depends so you can try this out for your baby trust me they will be very happy with this maze that i am just showing to you so we are done with the blending of our fish puree i only have one container left so i'm just going to fill this container there and i will also be putting one that he is going to eat later in the evening because i made this video in the afternoon so since i don't have any other container he is going to be consuming this very one that i have in in the bowl so i'm just going to put it in a plate now and add some cheese uh, some cheese and olive oil so whenever i want to feed him i normally add some olive oil and grounded cheese to it to make the food to give the food a better taste you know we don't cook with salt we don't cook their food with salt nor spices so adding olive oil and cheese will make the food taste better so i have just finished preparing the one that he is going to be eating very soon so this other one will be kept in the freezer once it is cooled down so this is all we have today take a look at the fruit and the food this will last him for like a week or so so after that i am just going to be placing my stickers my stickers paper that i wrote before i'm just going to place them on the on each container to make me remember when i prepare this food it is very important you know the date you made the food so here is the outcome of our puree so now if you want to give them this food if i want to give my son this food what i do is when i wake up in the morning i remove the fruit from the freezer and i just leave it outside after a few hours it will melt down and for the food if i want to give him the food so i take the food directly from freezer and i just put it in a pot where i have boiling water and i just cover for some minutes and let the food warm and after that i will just add olive oil cheese mix everything well and give to him so this is how we consume our food and fruit thank you very much for watching till i come your way again bye bye